Jot and Tittle Vintage Typewriters, welcome to this episode of our typewriter tutorial. I am doing a um, tutorial for the 1958 Olympia SM4, but this is the extra wide carriage. And this particular one happens to be cursive, but that doesn't matter with in terms of operations, but it's still really cool. All right. So, um... You know, even if you have an Olympia SM4, this tutorial video is going to be very helpful for you. You don't have to have the extra wide carriage to learn how to use it. So, but we are going to do this one and we're going to start with the back, work our way forward. So grab your typewriter and here we go. So in the back, you have your tabs and you just press, I'm sorry, I'm having a hard time to press and drag while I'm holding this. Let's try this again. Press and drag. Okay. So that is how you set your tabulator. Let me put this back down. Over here on the right side is a button. If you press that, your paper holder is gonna pop up. There you go. It comes, most of these come in a really nice case. I don't know if you can see that. Um, obviously extra wide case. Sometimes the ones with the regular carriage come in a silver streamed line case, but this one is extra big. All right, so you have your margin sets here. You just, again, squeeze and drag your bell. Will always ding just before you hit your right margin. And that, if you're not familiar, is to let you know, hey, you're close to your margin. Time for you to hit your return handle and go to the next line. And speaking of going to the next line, your line selector is right here on the left side. And you just flip that, there's single, double, and triple, triple line spacing, okay? Um, your carriage release is this silver lever that's on top. And if you press that down, it releases the carriage and it should be nice and smooth. And Olympia is really well known for how velvety smooth their carriages are. Okay, so I'm going to load a piece of paper and continue to show you everything. So you just put your paper right behind this metal bar, metal piece, flat piece here. Turn it. You don't need to shove it down here. There, you just set it and you should turn it. And that should pull it through. And this came through nice and even. But if it was crooked, then you have your paper release lever on the right side. You pull that forward. And that um, you can adjust your paper. And then make sure you re-engage it. All right. Um, also, sometimes if you, like, order a, an Olympia or you're storing it, there's a carriage lock. And that lever is right here on the keyboard on the left side. And what that does is it locks your carriage so you can't move. And that's great for storing or shipping. And then to, so if you get your carriage and you're like the carrot or your typewriter, and you're like the carriage isn't moving, check your carriage lock, pull that down, releases the carriage, and there you have it. Um, we're gonna open up the top and take a look at the ribbon. This is a single color typewriter. So down here, You'll see the color selector and you're like, well, why do I have a color selector if it's a single color? Well, you have a stencil option, which you will never use. And that's the white dot. And um, the, obviously you wanna keep it on the black. If it gets knocked down and on the white, it's not gonna type properly. So you're gonna be like, hey, this isn't, something's wrong, it's not typing right. I'm out of ink or whatever. And no, just go look flip your switch to black and then start typing again and you are all good okay voila all right so speaking of typing oh actually let's go back under the hood again so inside you're going to see your ribbon we have a metal spool in there installed but this does take a universal ribbon they're easy to find you can find them on our website at jaw and tittle typewriters 
com. It's in our shop. Also, if you have your original spools and you just want fresh ink, you can send us your spools and we'll return it to you. So um, just look for the custom ribbon option and that gives you instructions on how to do that, sending us your spools and then us returning uh, your spools with fresh um, ribbon. All right, so to reverse your ribbon because... When you get to the end of the spool, it's not the end of the ink. There's a lot of ink in that ribbon. And so you'll just go back and forth many times before you need to change that. And the re ribbon reversal is right here. Doesn't matter which side. It looks like a double barrel. And you just kind of switch back and forth. You can reach them right here. And that is how you switch your and reverse your ribbon. Okay. Let's go over here and uh, we have your margin release. I'll show you that in a second. You have your tab and I showed you where to set your tabs. Okay. Um, return, this is your backspace. So if you make a mistake, you can backspace. And either type over it, or you can exit over it, or you can put a line through it. Um, so you will, you will make a mistake when you type. That's just part of typing, and that's okay. Embrace it. I know some people have a hard time doing that, and that's totally fine. It's just going to take you a little bit longer, and you'll go through a little bit more, some more paper than everybody else. But backspace was there, and then here's your shift. And your shift lock is the little one just above it. And so the shift, without it, you have lowercase with the shift, uppercase. And then again, lower, you have numbers. And then with the shift, you have your symbols. Now let's go ahead and, is that everything? Oh, let's try the margin release. So I'll show you the margin release. And what that is for, I'm gonna bring this in, is when you set your margins, you've got your left margin and your right margin. So when you set your right, okay, so there's the bell. And you may not have heard it on the video, I could hear it, it was pretty faint, but that's what your bell is for. Oh, so I probably should hit the return handle right now. But if I don't, Okay, now it's gonna stop on me. So it went about three more characters and then it stopped. I wanna finish my word. So I'm gonna press MR, which is margin release. And keep going. So that is how you use your Olympia SM4, the 12 inch carriage. This one is cursive font. So if you wanna see the font up close, there's a link in the description to the product listing and you can see the photos and everything associated with this particular typewriter even if it's sold that's available and um oh one more thing um do i have it is it this one there it is okay um sometimes when you're uh you want to line up like I put in this paper, I'd already typed on it. And I want it to, let's say I want it to line up just right with this other line. And when you turn the handle, it's going to click every half of a line. So I want to release that. There's a lever on the very back top of the left side. And I'm going to press that down. That releases my roller. And it can do like variable, variable spacing or something. And so I can kind of adjust, get it right where I want. And then I can keep... Typing. And that is what that is for. All right. Well, I hope you uh, enjoyed this, found this helpful. And I'm just going to leave you with a little typing. <laughs>